In the last video series, what we went over is we went over how to connect a folder to the GitHub repository. And remember, if anytime you update this folder, either adding things to it or deleting things from it or changing things in it, what you can do is you can just um, go to the command line, enter those four commands I talked about in the last video, and it will um, put it on the GitHub, GitHub server. And remember that GitHub server is a code repository. So make sure you watch that video series first before you watch this one. Now, the second thing that we're going to do is we're going to now uh, take this folder and we're going to make it so that it actually goes onto the Russet V8 server as well. So this one folder will be on the GitHub server and it will be on the Russet V8 server and it will also be on your client computer. So you'll still do all your work on your client computer and you're just going to push them to whatever server you want. So the way we're going to set this up is we're going to use a software called VS Code. And what VS Code will do is it'll allow you to write your code you know, to, for your program, and then every time you save it, it's automatically going to put it right on the um, Russet V8 server for you. And then whenever you want to, you can um, push it to the GitHub server. So for example, you could write your entire project, get the thing working on the Russet server, and once everything's working, um, you can then uh, push it to the code repository, so that way when I grade it, I can actually look at your code. Or if you have any problem with it here, then you can just manually put it on the GitHub server. You'll just get as far as you can get, put it on the server, um, and then send me the link to the server where it's at, and I can take a look at it. So uh, we're going to be doing two processes here. And again, what's going to happen is the contents of this folder are going to go on the GitHub server, and they're also going to go on the Russet V8 server. So it's going to be two things. This runs the code, so you can see it in the browser. This just uh, holds it as repository. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. First thing you're going to want to do is you want to download a free copy of VS Code. And that's right here. So you can go to code.visualstudio.com, click download. And what that's going to do is that's going to go ahead and download um, a copy of VS Code for you. And this is a free program. And it's actually a really nice program. Now, once you download it and install it, you're going to get some, a screen that looks something like this. It won't be exactly like this. It would be something like this. It might have some different text in there. It's not going to have all these... Uh, files are here, so don't worry about that. Um, let's get into this. And so, what we want to do now is we want to put that on our um, our test kit. Because remember, we, we create that test kit folder, which is supposed to be like your CPS folder, CPS two seven six or whatever. So let's take a look at uh, that just as a reminder. So from the last video, you remember I created this test underscore git folder. I had this assignments uh, folder in there, and I had this readme. And so, um, and inside of assignments, I have assignment one, just like that. Okay, so what I want to do now is I want to um, write a little program, or I'm going to give you the script to do it, uh, just, just going to make sure to test everything. So what we do is uh, you go over to um, your Blackboard, and right here under setting up VS Code and Rusted 8 server, there's this file called phpmysql.zip. It's a zip file. You go ahead and download that, which I've already done here. So you take that file, which is in my downloads right here. You just drag it over here. And then what you do is you right click on it and you click extract all. And hit extract. And now it's there. Now what it's probably gonna do is, you can see it created a folder called PHP MySQL test. And inside that another folder saying PHP MySQL test. You don't want, you don't want that, you just want one of them. So all you do is just take this, drag that over to test kit and uh, it will do it, and then of course, if you go to test kit, it's going to be right there. It's only going to be one. What it does, it puts like the folder within a folder. It does that every time I zip it. Now, as far as this one uh, goes, once you're done, you can just go ahead and, and right click it and delete it. You don't need a zip file anymore. So this is the file that we're going to be uh, working on. And again, all the code's been written for you. Just a, a couple of small changes you've got to make. So let me show you how you do that. So you go over to VS Code, and you uh, come up here, you go File, and you have Open Folder. And you just navigate to where that is. So mine is in users, 17347. Come down here to where my test git uh, folder is. And basically, um, well actually, I'm gonna go back one, sorry. You can go to test git, click on that, and then select folder. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna download, or not download, but that's gonna now go to that folder and open up everything inside of it, which is sitting right here. Okay, so that's one step, that's, that's done. Now what we need to do is we need to um, download some software that's going to allow this to um, be put on the server. It's very easy. You click here under extensions with these little blocks 
and I'm going to show you what you search for, SFTP. And when you get that, you look for the one that's um, written by, I can't really pronounce this, but it's, uh, it looks like Nat Nazi Skunk or something like that. But anyway, this is the one that you want. If you click on that, you'll just click on Install. Now, mine says Uninstall because I've already installed it. But you're going to click on Install. It'll take just a few, maybe not even a minute, and it will install it. And once it's installed there, you come up here. Now, please download and install this one because this one is what I know works. You uh, you come up to uh, your Explorer right here, and you, you've got you've got this sitting here. So what you do is you do uh, Control Shift P, and you get this window up here. And what you're looking for is SFTP config. If it doesn't show up, you just write SFTP, and it will uh, show up right there. So you, it's right here is where you want, and you go SFTP config. And it's going to create this little folder called .vs code. And then inside of there, it's going to create a file for you called sftp.json. So it's a JSON file. Now, you just got to update this information here, and you're going to be all set. So the name can be whatever you want to call it. I'm going to call it um, Russet uh, V8 Server. Be whatever you want. Now, the host is going to be um, the, the, path, the, the browser path to it. So in a sense, it's going to be uh, Russet, and it's going to be hyphen V8 dot wccnet.edu just like that okay that's what you're going to write there protocol is sftp port will be 22 the username is going to be your um wcc username so mine is that shaper yours is going to be whatever yours is everything else just keep it the same okay so that's what we have so far but the remote path i mean everything else keep it the same time with these three down here the remote path we have to we have to change we have to put in what our remote path is going to be I'm going to show you how you get that. It's actually really simple. So you come up to this window here. Let me go ahead and uh, clear it for a second. And um, we have to uh, SSH into um, Russet. So it's SSH. And then it's going to be your Washington username. So mine is going to be SShaper. And you go at. And you go russet-v8.wccnet.edu. Just like that. You hit enter, and it's going to ask you for the password. It might, before that, it might give you a prompt saying um, something about fingerprint identification. Do you want to do it? Just write yes. You're fine. Now, this is going to be your WCC password. And notice, as I type it in, you don't see it. And But trust me, it's being put in there. It's a security protocol from Linux. Okay, so I typed in my password. All right. And so now I've uh, I've got this I've I've logged in, and uh, if you look at um, the directory by just doing ls, you can see I have this public uh, underscore HTML folder. I need to go inside of that, so I go cd change directory um, public uh, HTML like, like that. Okay. Now if you ls here, um, I have some examples and more stuff, but this is where you're going to start putting your assignments and stuff. So this is where you want to put everything. Okay, inside this public directory, you want to put your, um, for, me, for me, it's going to be my test kit uh, directory. For you, it would be your CPS276, okay, or whatever. You, hopefully, you named it that. All right, so I need to find out what's the path to get to here. Really easy. PWD. Once you enter that, hit enter. You come to this, and that is the actual um, remote path. At least it's part of it. It's not the whole thing. It's part of it. So you copy this. You go back to VS Code, you uh, paste that in, like that, and then all you gotta do is go uh, one more forward slash and then whatever the name of the directory is, which mine will be test underscore git. Now, what's gonna happen is, uh, and make sure, see this right here? Make sure that you only have one forward slash, not two. Okay, it should be just like that. All right, so what's gonna happen is when I um, save this, I can basically right-click on assignments, right-click on PHP MySQL tests, whatever, and I can send that to the server. Whatever folder I click on, it's going to send that to the server, okay?